CLL may begin as a single clone, but over time, new and genetically diverse subclones can emerge. The highly variable disease course seen among patients with CLL is shaped in part by the genomic alterations that define new subclones. Characterizing these alterations can provide insight into a patient's prognosis, treatment options, and potential therapeutic response. Oncologist Dr. Daruka Mahadevan talks about the importance of some of the cytogenetic changes seen in CLL and what they can mean for patients. Of the common changes seen in CLL, three particular deletions occurring in chromosome regions 11Q, 13Q, and 17P may correlate with a better or worse prognosis. In the case of deletion 13Q, genetic material that may help suppress tumor growth is missing. Patients who are positive for this deletion alone tend to have a better prognosis than patients with no detectable alterations. In contrast, patients with 11Q and 17P deletions are missing genetic material that may affect the cell's response to DNA damage and other stresses. Patients who test positive for either of these changes tend to do worse as their disease is likely to be more aggressive. An additional copy of chromosome 12 called trisomy 12 is found in some patients but does not appear to be associated with a better or worse prognosis. To determine the presence of cytogenetic alterations, NCCN guidelines recommend that patients undergo a FISH test, which is performed on cells obtained from a peripheral blood sample. Fluorescent probes highlight specific regions on chromosomes 11Q, 12, 13Q, and 17P, which can help distinguish subclones that harbor alterations involving these chromosomes from those that do not. A positive test result is determined when the number of cells that are missing regions 11Q, 13Q, or 17P, or that possess an additional copy of chromosome 12, reaches a clinically relevant threshold. The test result is considered negative if the number of subclones with a specific alteration falls below the threshold. However, selective pressures can alter the balance of subclones throughout the natural course of CLL a process known as clonal evolution. A new dominant subclone can emerge and eventually surpass the threshold where its effects on disease can be significant. With clonal evolution, patients with CLL who were negative for a specific alteration at diagnosis can become positive at relapse. Dr. Mahadevan continues. Because cytogenetic abnormalities such as deletions 17P and 11Q can be informative for prognostic or therapy determination, NCCN guidelines suggest that a FISH test be performed at the time of diagnosis and at every relapse. The evolving clonal nature of CLL makes testing at each relapse critical. Subclones harboring these deletions may be very few in number at first, but over time can proliferate to clinically significant levels.